Got my wife. Uh oh. A gold necklace with a cross on it and uh -huh. earrings. You can't go wrong with that, man. I like those little, um, when it comes to gifts, like those little combinations of like the matching earrings and like the little pendant. Yeah. Sometimes you can pick them up for like 60 bucks. Man, you can't go wrong with that little deal right there. Yeah, I, I needed something to do the other day when I cleaned out that crusher, but I'm expecting, I don't know with the price going down, man, not too many people are gonna be crushing I think I heard one of the guys, they were somewhere and he already had 14 loads on the ground, yeah. but it was so wet and muddy they couldn't get in. And I've tried to tell them, I've been telling them, man, if somebody would just go spend uh, maybe a couple hundred bucks on like a, like 50 bags of lime, man, it'll go a long way and you'll go, you like over here, our problem is there's just slop yeah. sticking up, there's just slop on top of the hard ground. but. Man, if you go spend a little bit of money on some lime and throw that out there, you can get grip. It's not gonna soak it on, dry it up, but you can get grip in that stuff. Yeah. Here we go, little Mitten Cooper. These are, man, uh, I think the motor on these cars is like three grand. I think the transmission is like almost three grand on these little Mini Coopers. I haven't crushed too many of them. I've crushed a couple of them, but I haven't, I haven't crushed one as complete as this one. Usually a little more stuff sold off of them. Uh oh, here's Big James here. Uh oh. Yeah. I bet that kid will remember that trip on that forklift the other day for the rest of his life. Yeah. I remember mine, man. I had an uncle, he was digging a pond behind his trailer and he he was a truck driver, but he, you know, he knew people that had equipment and stuff. And he had a bulldozer, man. I sat with my uncle like two days. I just sat there up next to him and it was open cab, you know, it, it was just a, and he dug a pond. I used to drive a tractor on farm and stuff, and I, I enjoy driving a tractor, you know, yeah. more than anything. I, I wouldn't even mind by trying to see what it would be like to go uh, uh, plow some snow somewhere on one of these things. Them guys get out there, and I mean, oh, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. all day long and all night, and two o'clock in the morning. Well, you know, you take in the city and stuff, where they get that snow and stuff out, they have to take well, they take these front end loaders and they load that snow up on uh, 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 dump trailers. Oh, and get it out of there. And have to get it out of there. Yeah. You know, kind of they, it makes too big of a pile. Oh, they got that hanging K frame down there. That's all right. We'll make it fit, right? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's the deal with these guys that got like body shops and stuff like this. Yeah. It's it's hard to get like a pretty bundle, but who, it's crushed cars and they gotta be pretty. But them ugly loads is what gets pulled over. I need me a trailer. I gotta get me a big trailer. I need a trailer like that one back here that James has got, where I can haul a lot of tires on it. Tires? Yeah. Why don't you go, uh, what, you, maybe a high wall trailer? Is that what you're looking after? Yeah. Something that dumps? Does it need to dump? No, not real. I mean, it would be nice if it did. Yeah. Because when I take the tires off, I can just dump them out. Man, have you seen those machines they got that, um, it's like a log splitter, but they turned it into splitting wheels. And it slices the tire on one side and it, if it's a steel wheel, it'll crush that wheel and it'll just drop out. And of course, if it's aluminum, it'll just shatter it. And you're just picking up chunks of aluminum mm -hmm. wheel. And um, I've seen them, I'll, I'll show you one here after a while, but I don't know why more guys don't get, cause you could build one. It's just a hydraulic ram and a five horse gas motor, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, uh, you know, it, 
and a couple and a couple valve body, you know. Yeah, and a, a you cylinder. Could probably, I yeah, mean, a, yeah, a cylinder. You could probably build one for probably nine hundred bucks. Yeah, maybe eleven hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, you're welding. In a, uh, uh, but if you get somebody to build you a frame where you know you, you got it, it looks like a log yeah. splitter. And I mean, um, and dudes fly right through tires. And also, I've heard something about on the steel wheels. Once you crush them down like that, you get number one short iron. Yeah. Because they're able to pack more into a container. You know, to, it's all about the shipping them with these yards. You know, getting them. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. they got to repackage it. Yeah, there's a third bundle on that on that load it's we're going we're going pretty good through that guy's stuff